Hey, what's up guys, Apex and welcome back to some more of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This is part 3, some crazy shit went down in part 2. If you missed part 1 and 2, go check them out. This is a great series so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's about 4 hours long, I think. So we'll definitely be completing this game for shizzle. For shizzle, my nizzle. We came out of this place. I just want to make sure that I'm missing anything at all now. We came out of here and... Went down here somewhere, but there's nothing there. So I guess we'll move on to the next house here and see what the crack is there. I wonder how this game is going to end. I'm intrigued as to how this ends. Let's see if we find crazy Ethan. Crazy little Ethan that sees things. I see that Okay, so. This place is creeping me out, though. It's, very, it's really dense. Creepy. Why is there just random buildings here that are all abandoned? This one's open. I don't like open buildings. Anyone else not terrified by this? You can feel it, right? Something. No. Nope. Uh, something coming from the Vandegriff house. I can feel it. Ethan disturbed this. Wait, what? Why'd it go away? You can disturb the Y. No, it's just up too far away, damn it. What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room, I walked into it, that's it. So his parents are giving out to him here for like waking up like demons or something? Or waking up some crazy shiz. Okay, this is weird. Let's go upstairs and see if there's any weird noises going on there. So when you go into a room, you Pop, feel you hear what they were saying in this they room. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. Oh, it's real. It's real. Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. Oh, this is so creepy. Hard to see as well. There's nothing in this room? You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. Yeah, I think they have all gone crazy. Let's go to the next, next floor. Hello, Ethan. And here, I guess it's the last place we got, Jay. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Oh, Ethan. How did you do? I'm getting shivers from this man. Shivers? I'm getting shivers. <laughs> I'm getting shivers from this. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Learned some new stuff about the. What the hell just happened? Oh, I thought we went into a different mess. When you go in there, it just goes pitch dark. Can't see jack shit there. Okay, so basically that's all. All there is to it here. I don't see anything right here. It's so freaking dark. I don't know the sun's around here. Yeah, I think that's all there is to know in here, guys. Gotta get the hell out of here now. That's creepy. Real creepy. So if we go in here again, we can't hear what they were saying again. So I guess we gotta... We've learned some new stuff, so let's keep going along the road here. 
keep making our way down, down. Walking fast. Up, down, I should say. I hope we didn't miss anything in that house. I don't think we did, though. Is this even the way we're supposed to be going? Because it's like two different ways you can go at all times. Big, big places. You, it's a big map. And they don't cut you off from going certain places because so they don't give you a helping hand. They literally said that they're, they're not going to tell you what to do at all. No. Basically, you're screwed if you don't know what to do, huh? I guess we just keep following the path. That's the safest thing to do. Because that's kind of just... Oh. Here's a weird looking house. I'm assuming definitely something bad's gonna happen here. Oh, this is a graveyard. This is bad. Oh, yeah. This is the bad stuff. I can't see anything at all. It's so freaking dark. It's upstairs. Supposed to be able to see anything? We can't go up in the right now. I wish I had a light or something. I mean, literally, it's possible to see. Here. I'm gonna walk backwards because we can see the actual. And I, uh, we can't do anything here. No, yeah, there's nothing in here. Let's get the hell out of here. This place is creeping me the F out. So this graveyard here, what the hell? There's just two, it's a question. Gosh, how do we get up to that clock tower? I imagine that's something we have to do. But we can't go in there without that without that goddamn ladder working, I don't think. So let's go up here. Doesn't seem like there's anything in that house at all. It's giving me the chills just staying around there anyway. I'm gonna keep on going. <laughs> nice view. So you get memories and stuff when you go into the houses, which is cool. Ooh, what's that? You can't go in then though, can you? Perhaps we should be down there. Hmm. Continue on here for a little bit. Let's continue on here for a little bit. See where this takes us. Or is this just taking us in circles back down around? I think that is what it's doing. What do the dead nope. have to say? You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk down stairs that disappear beneath their feet. Headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. I think when he talks, basically that's how you know you're on the right track. Let's go right first. See, there's so many different paths you can take. I think that's bringing us back down around to where we came from, though, so I'm actually gonna go back up this way. Ooh, what's that? There's some purple wall right there. That's nothing, though. It's nothing okay. Whatever. I think this is probably the way. Shh. See that dog make a noise. Ooh, this seems to be the right way. There's a cave here. Oh chop. Guess we can't get through here though. Nope, okay. There's no way in there. Let me in, you bastard. It, do, it doesn't like, if, if we could open it with a key, I imagine it would say it. It would give me a command to go key, 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 like it usually does, you know? Something like that. Like it does with the rock and like it did with the, the rail car and stuff, I imagine. Some serious exploration in this game, like just running around exploring for life. Beach down there. I want to go have have a swim on the beach, lads. But this is taking us back down around now. 
So obviously we have to find some stuff to help us on our journey. Because if we came down here, that would just take us down here. And back down around towards the houses again. So really, we have to find some stuff because obviously it's not just as simple as going to a certain place or doing a certain thing. You have to progress. This is taking us back to the to the houses where we were at, at the start, where the, by the bridge, I think. I think, unless it's not, I don't Stepped know. through too many portals, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay yeah, on is. the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. Memories without homes. Okay, well this was all a pointless journey then, huh? Jesus Christ. Let me go straight back here. So we, did we learn some new stuff or what? I don't understand. Do we go back across the bridge or do we go back up here? Or... Hmm. Let's try to go back up here because there was some stuff up here. Um, some weird buildings and stuff. And we got back up around. Ooh, this is some dense forest material. <gasps> People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. But I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Is cheating truly unfair to others? Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? No. Do you love for yourself or for others? Both. Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? Injustice. Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? Neither. I don't admire thieves. Do you feel there is vanity in charity? No. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear, and she did not stop crying. Um, I crying, lady. Sorry about that. The camera's going to be a little bit dark there. Um, fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman. She was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, the son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared and the mother was beautiful again. So she took the Even boy? The point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Who's Missy? His mother? The wish. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want to keep this note and read it every time I listen to temper. I don't need it. I know it got a snake stung. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Okay. That was creepy. What's this? These feathers? Should we follow them or what? We don't need any. Just there. We're just there. Tent gone? No, it's there. Okay. So that was creepy. That was fun. There's some weird, creepy little stuff like that in this game, and I love it. Intriguing, very intriguing. Okay, we're back onto the path now. 
Is this the path we were on before? I think it is. We haven't gone past the big church or whatever that's up here, right? So I want to get to that church and try and find something there. There must be something here. Because there's more houses up here too, so. But there's nothing in there. Because you can't get up the stairs. The stairs are broken. But there could be something down here. Ooh, what was that? In spell. Burnt matches. Oil can. Spilled oil, round stain, oil lamp, question mark, question mark. Okay, we've got to find an oil lamp. Let's find the goddamn oil lamp then. Ooh, more blood. Oh, it's crow blood? Dagger, skeleton. Question mark, question mark, question mark. No one knows what that is. This place is creepy as hell, brother. We need an oil lamp. We got question mark, question mark, question mark. Nobody knows what that is. Ooh. Mortar, troll, pile of bricks. Interrupted. That means nothing, really. He was interrupted at work. That's that. There's more blood here? Yep. Blood, human, throw. Blood stain, okay. Where's the footpath lead to? The prince. You can't really see it, can you? What the hell's this orange stuff? I can't see any footprints anyway, can you guys? Hmm. There's nothing in the graveyard here. Probably an oil lamp on one of these graves somewhere too, huh? I would imagine. That's where people usually would leave uh, oil lamps, right? Unless it's inside somewhere. It gets way too dark when you to get in here. Oh, you can inspect something here. I don't know. Oh, that's the oil lamp. Yeah. Well, I'll be talking about it. Now we can light stuff up so we can go into dark places. Awesome. Did you know I was saying it's way too dark to go on there? So if we go over and get the oil lamp uh, as my thing for once, not a battery. We can go over now and maybe and that will work. Or something we can conjure something up for it to work. I think. We can go through that thing that, down here as well. It seems as if there's something going down there, but I don't want to go down there without a without an oil lamp. Fix. I can use it, or so this has nothing for me. And, but there's matches here. Can I not light it up? I fixed it now. Come on. So I can't do anything with this. It's dumb. Damn it. So I really can't do anything with that, it was just to fix an oil lamp. I want to be able to light it so I can see stuff down here. Can't see jack shit. I thought I'd be able to pick it up and take it and use it. I can't do anything with this. Damn it. Oh no. I just don't know now. An oil lamp. I thought I'd be able to match it up or something. Use matches on it. I definitely can't. I, I thought that was going to be the main thing about it. Like, look at the, the, light, the lighter right there. There's a lighter. Wait, there's no glassware. Is that what I'm missing? The glassware? I'll we just keep going down here, even though it's pitch dark.
ambush. Bro, bro, bro. What did that do? We have to put a crow in there and then pull it. I see, I see. I can't see jack shit down here though, so. It's gonna be pretty hard to do. Hmm. What does that do? That should just like throw in. I need a crow. I need to find a freaking dead crow, I guess. There's something right there though. Paintbrush. You not pick up one of these dead crows? I guess not, we have to find a different dead crow, but we can't use this oil lamp apparently. Which I thought we would definitely be able to use. Are those just what are the what are those? What in God's name are those? Alright, whatever. We gotta look elsewhere then. Where the hell are we gonna find a dead crow? That's not creepy at all. Oh wait. Yeah it is. It's incredibly creepy. Oh, what's this? It's back. Oh we found a crow. Found a crow, found a crow, we found the crow. Let's go put the crow in that thing. And then we might be able to open that. Oh, we can inspect something new here, too. On the outside. The Union Star. Wing of the Crow. Crow's foot. Witch's foot. Sacrifice to Gleco? Yes, that's the sacrifice, I think. Now, does that turn the light on, possibly? Yes! We're getting somewhere now. Who's this guy? Cause of death. Did this, someone seriously stab him with a crow? Shallow, minimal bleeding. Blood strikes back wound, maybe? Okay. Oh! He got stabbed with this, obviously. Pretty awesome, actually, I must say. So, I found a dead guy. That's about it. Down here. Kind of creepy, I must say. Should I turn this off now? Can we inspect this wall here or something? No, okay. We don't want to touch him anymore, do we? I can't even really see anything about him any. Alright. Hey guys, that was some interesting shit. We definitely... Oh yeah, the dagger now can use here. Now what does that do? That does nothing. Dagger wheelbarrow. Do they just have to be in certain places? Because that doesn't actually do anything. They just have to be in certain places, I guess. What about now? Is there something else down here? No, I don't think so. Alright guys, we're going to end the part here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was very interesting stuff. We, we learned some cool new stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. And keep it in the like button if you want to see more Vanishing of Ethan character. And I shall see you guys in the next part very soon. Mahalo.